Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. I'm hoping you guys are all having a fantastic day. So today's upload is going to be a a little bit different. Um it's going to be about the uh, the tropical update, the tropical storm that may be occurring, uh, even a hurricane across the Gulf Coast states. Louisiana seems to be the most likely to be hit by this, as you can see by the track. There are already tropical storm watches, I think. Um, no, hurricane. Okay, hurricane watches, storm surge watches. Uh, and if we go to the National Weather Service map, you can see that it's, uh, it's intensifying pretty quickly. So, we have to keep an eye on that. And if it does become, it's going to be named Barry right now. It's still just called, okay, not National Hurricane Center. I want National Weather Service. And uh, consider subscribing while you're at it, guys, if you want to uh, support this channel. Consider doing so. It really helps this channel uh, maintain itself on YouTube. And it, it really just uh, is, is, you know, important. But if you could see right here, we have hurricane watches and storm surge watches and tropical storm warnings and flood warnings. I mean, everything's here. Uh, New, Orle New Orleans. New Orleans. Sorry, New Orleans. And New Orleans uh, got quite a bit of rain um today and it, it was it was like seven inches in some places so they don't need any more but unfortunately you're getting more so if we go uh over there and check out what's going on um, i apologize this is taking quite a big time to load uh you can see that uh, there's already a flash flood warning or a flood warning and a flash flood watch a little bit um, to the north, so uh, this is not loading, but you can see this is the radar. It's already this tropical storm. That's not associated with it, but this is these tiny storms, and it's already hitting the New Orleans area pretty hard. If we go to, oh, that's just a video I had pulled up. Uh, I watch at my gardener, and if you, uh, if you, if we go to the National Hurricane Center and check on what they're uh, what they're sh showing, you can see that um, it's it's quite a bit of quite a bit of. Uh, variance in the track. I mean, you can see it's right here, right now. It's going to be depression, then become a storm, and then from storm, it's going to become a hurricane, and then it's going to make landfall somewhere uh, between this, these blue lines. You could see uh, this is not uh, a path of destruction or like where the impact will be. This is where it could track. It could go all the way by Houston um, and be right there, or it could go right over here. But most, you know, most likely as of now, it's somewhere in the middle here. But it could definitely. Um, trend towards either the right or the left more than it has and you can see potential track area that's not the um the the, the impact area which many people do think and you can see that uh Right now, I was about to show you guys something. Okay, so the hurricane is technically when it's uh, 74 mile per hour, 75 or greater, um, 74 through 100, and you could see that according to this, it's supposed to become a hurricane. Unfortunately, it's not going to be any stronger, I think, than hurricane uh, category one. You could see uh, maximum winds 85 mile per hour, 85 miles per hour. Um, you know, uh, and they they don't uh, they don't measure the wind gusts. They only it's only sustained winds. So you can see 85. But then, I mean, it could quickly get up to a category three if it really had the right environment, low shear, which is forecasted to be low shear, um, warm temperatures, which it's all in place. But we just don't know if it's gonna you know occur all that fast. You could see uh, the the rainfall amounts are just ridiculous. I mean, uh, some of these pink areas, the, that pink area, that's over 15 inches. Um, these, this red and uh, orange is over 6 to 10 inches. I mean, amazing amounts of rain, which isn't, you know, amazing or not, it's, they're, they're, I meant to say they're, they're high, they're great. And you can see that this, uh, does track further up to the north and could possibly impact maybe, uh, more of an area than just the south. But, uh, we've been pretty dry here, so if we get some precip from this in the Chicagoland area, we would be happy um i'm telling you because it's been dry here if we go to the wind speed possibilities you could see that this is tropical storm force wind speed probabilities and uh 70 80 percent chance right there and that uh, obviously gets weaker as it furthers but again it's most likely looking that this could be a hurricane and uh, you know that's just what it's gonna be in terms of the arrival of the winds tropical storm force winds which is you know the very 
powerful winds you could see uh friday 8 a.m it's, it's very vague but uh because it could you know they're still showing that these winds could you know are anywhere from here to here they could be uh, impacting and you can see the areas within the almost black black counter have at least five percent chance of seeing winds of 34 or 39 miles per hour or greater so you can see that this this would be um this would be a fairly wide swath and if we were to look at um the models right now and see what's going on i could show you the gfs uh in terms of the the strength the gfs is not the model that's showing the most i think the european earlier on was showing way stronger hurricane um or it may, it may still be showing a way stronger hurricane chat slash tropical storm and i'll check that in just a minute but you could see uh it has it at around nine at five nine three nine nine three millibars which honestly is not too strong guys it's uh, it's barely that's sometimes we get a storm across during the winter that's you know could be way deeper than that in 970 range but uh, not, that's you know that's not even a category one really right there or a hurricane but it could be because the gfs is just one model and if we go to the hurricane models at hrwf hwrf um and let's go to two that's what it's now that's what it's now coined you could see let's go back it has it a much stronger so this is let's go back to hour three this is what is right now starts organizing these thunderstorms start popping and uh we this is where louisiana is hopefully you could see that outline um the outer banks not the outer banks but like the little tiny islands and you could see that uh it gets down to nine uh nine uh, 59 960 and you can see that it it continues to strengthen into a category two at least it seems now uh, uh, based on this model and uh, if we were to look at um the wind speeds on this i don't know if they this model has a 10 meter okay it has a 10 meter winds so we have to see what this is and we could see it has right there some bright blue uh that is that's somewhere around the 96 range it's almost a category two hurricane if not a category two hurricane uh, this model is showing if you go to the hurricane uh hrp a little bit different variant is i think it's just showing it from farther distance that's basically the only different sorry about that the only difference you can see it has it right there um tracking up to the north and possibly uh you know producing rain up there but it's looking strong but nothing uh remarkable uh in terms of you know it's not going to be a major hurricane at this point it doesn't seem but if we were to look at some more models the hmon or the hmon uh, let's go to this one uh, this one's also just a little bit closer up uh, than the previous one and you can see that it has it pretty strong as well around the same uh it, you know same around that same uh area or same category as the other ones as the other one had it so uh, it doesn't seem like a category three hurricane would occur but we definitely uh could be seeing one so if we go to the <clears throat> the european model i want to show you the european model this is the european and you can see okay so it doesn't have it too strong as well in terms of the winds you could see 988 um nothing too powerful or you know in terms of the wind speeds but i want to emphasize that the rain is going to be very heavy with this the rain is just going to be uh whether it's weaker or stronger it doesn't matter the rain is going to be heavy and uh it's it's going to leave a lot of rain guys there's some air models that are predicting over like 40 inches of rain with this so uh it's it's kind of scary but if we go to the total accumulated precip on a gfs model we could see it has that bright yellow uh contour which is basically uh 12 inches and above possibly so you know it seems like it would be a fairly significant deal and you know also suddenly that would definitely produce quite a bit of of, of damage i don't know if it would be harvey uh, you know equivalent to harvey but definitely um definitely damaging so uh if um that's basically i just wanted to give you this quick update on this i don't really go in depth um i could go in depth but I, it's hurricane coverage is not my specialty i don't really do it that you know that often um only when there's one imminent but uh, otherwise than that um i mean you, you go to the national hurricane center don't base your forecast off of my video and go and go through all of this and take their advice so thank you guys so much for watching consider liking the video consider subscribing to this channel and i will catch you all guys on the next episode or video see ya bye